Welcome back to the channel. Is happiness something we can learn? According to Silicon Valley icon and philosopher Naval Ravikant, it is. Whether you're seeking personal growth, a new perspective on life, or simply to turn down a couple notches the stress and anxiety in your life, I think you'll find value in today's eight insights from Naval. Number one is to understand that happiness is a byproduct of peace. First, we need to define what we need by happiness because happiness means different things to different people. For some, happiness is a state of joy and positive emotions. For others, it may be found in a state of flow. In contrast, Naval considers that happiness lies in maintaining a sense of inner peace. A genuinely happy person is therefore someone who can effortlessly interpret daily events in a way that doesn't disturb their inner tranquility. This perspective shifts the focus from seeking short-lived temporary moments of joy and pleasure to cultivating a deep and enduring sense of inner peace. So let's keep this in mind as we move forward. When we use the word happiness, what we should envision is to seek a lasting peace of mind. Number two is to remember that desire is self-imposed unhappiness. The idea that by changing something external in the outside world will bring you everlasting peace, joy and happiness is a fundamental delusion that most of us suffer from. Over and over, we keep telling ourselves that we will be happy when we get that thing or when this happens. However, the truth is that desiring something creates a self-imposed dissatisfaction that lasts until that desire is fulfilled. Reducing our wants and desires leads to contentment and inner peace, since happiness is found by appreciating what we already have. This second insight leads to one of my favorite quotes from Naval. Desire is a contract that you make with yourself to be unhappy until you get what you want. This Number three is to cultivate indifference to things outside of your control. And here we are reminded of Buddhist and Stoic wisdom. Many of our anxieties and frustrations arise from trying to control external circumstances, many of which are both unpredictable and often beyond our reach. By practicing detachment and accepting that certain aspects of life are outside of our control, we can experience a greater sense of peace and clarity. This mindset allows us to direct our energy and attention towards our actions and decisions, fostering personal growth and resilience. Number four is literally to embrace death. And here we're reminded again of the Stoics. Naval believes that death is the most important thing that will ever happen to you. Looking at death in the eye and refusing to hide from its reality will bring meaning to our lives. We are here for such a short time, and all that matters in the end is how we experience reality as we go through our lives. Why not interpret it in the best possible way? To live fully is to embrace death. When you accept your own mortality, you free yourself to truly live. Number five is to embrace meditation. Naval sees meditation as crucial for achieving mental clarity and emotional well-being. He suggests spending time alone, free from distractions, to engage in self-examination and better understand our thoughts and emotions. This practice is not about making decisions or passing judgment, but about accepting the mind as it is in the moment. Naval compares our mind to a giant inbox of unanswered emails dating back to our childhood. During meditation, these thoughts will arise one by one, allowing us to observe them. The good news is that now we're adults, we can address these thoughts with greater objectivity and the benefit of time and distance from past events. Eventually, according to Naval, you can reach a state where your inbox is literally empty, experiencing blissful peace. Number six is very important, and it's to recognize that success does not guarantee happiness. Confucius once said, we have two lives, and the second one begins when we realize that we only have one. In his younger years, Naval was obsessed with achieving material and social success. However, after attaining it, he realized two things. First, that he experienced hedonic adaptation. The process by which individuals return to a baseline level of happiness after experiencing positive or negative events, reducing the long-term impact of those events on overall happiness. But more importantly, he observed that successful people around him were left always wanting more and did not seem genuinely happy. Number seven is to get rid of expectations. We should view expectations as self-imposed constraints and embrace the belief of the relative insignificance of the self. When you perceive yourself as the center of the universe, you're setting up yourself for disappointment when reality doesn't align with your desires. Recognize your small place in the grand scheme of things and try to minimize expectations of how life should unfold. Happiness naturally arises from inner peace and peace of mind comes largely from acceptance rather than attempting to control external circumstances. This leads us to number eight, which is to remember to practice acceptance. You always have three ways to respond to any given event. 
You can change it, you can accept it, or you can leave it. What doesn't make sense is to sit around wishing you could change it, but doing nothing about it, or wishing you could leave it, but not being able to let go. According to Naval, this struggle is responsible for a lot of our suffering. In many cases though, you can always try to reframe the situation. Always ask yourself, what is the positive angle of any given situation? If you found value in today's video, please remember to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed Naval's nuggets of wisdom, I think you'd also appreciate a recent video we did on Naval's recipe for achieving financial success. All right, thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video.